he moved on to a foam finger because he could not contain himself with the cup in front of him. So anyway, it's our second show. Let's talk about. Let's let's move on. Hi, I'm Alec McChesney. And I'm Wyatt Wheeler. Welcome back to Alec and Wyatt Leakley. It's President's Day, Indeed so you know is. what that means. We need to talk about the hot topics of the day. President Trump. <laughs> no, no, no. Absolutely not. Alec, you went to New Orleans over the weekend. How was your trip? Wyatt, I tried to go to New Orleans this weekend. We had it planned out. We were going to go watch the Rising Stars game, All-Star Weekend, Mardi Gras coming up. Fortunately, we're about an hour and a half into our trip. Don't right? you mean unfortunately? Mm. You don't know yet. Um, we're about an hour and a half into our trip, and we hit a deer. There were three deer on the side of the road, one right in the middle, really nowhere for us to go, just truck daddy deer. I think what we're all thinking, what happened to the deer? The, de the deer died. The deer 100% died. Unfortunately, there will be some orphan in the forest. Or Bambi. <laughs> Goodness. So anyway, don't drive in Arkansas at night because a deer will come. He's shooting me again. I just want everyone to know that. Basketball. You were able to come back home and watch something even better. The Bears win on Saturday. Thankfully, the Bears did beat Drake because if I would have lost an opportunity to watch Shario Sarich and Julia Okafor play in the Rising Stars game and then the Bears would have lost to Drake, it would have been a very, very disappointing weekend. But instead he got the next best thing, Daquan Miller, Alizé Johnson beating Drake. Alizé Johnson puts up 23 points, 21 rebounds in the game, obviously a great game. I'm more concerned with the game against Illinois State on Wednesday. Illinois State game, it was really close. The Daquan Miller missed a shot at the buzzer, which would have won the game. It was an right. open look. I would have taken the was shot it, too. Was Three pointer. It was a three pointer. I would have taken it too if I were him. It just unfortunately didn't go in, but it was a close loss. Do you Could think, have won. Do you think you would have made it? I would have missed the shot by a mile. Okay, that's good. But no. All right, three, no, we're getting shot. So one. no, we're moving on. We're moving on. We're moving on. We're talking we're about no. We're talking about the Missouri Valley Conference tournaments for swimming this week. 2015, 2016 Missouri Valley Conference Championship. Swimmers come home, second place finish. They lose by half a point. This season, destined from the beginning, they had to win. It was all about vengeance. They did. They went out this past weekend and absolutely crushed it. Lauren Bell finished with the MVC Player of the Year, 13th championship in school history. Dave Collins won the Coach of the Year in Missouri Valley. It was pretty much a display of dominance from the get-go as 10 players were on the first all-team MVC. There were seven more on honorable mentions. Uh, we had Freshman of the Year, Player of the Year, and Coach of the Year. I think this is a big thing that a lot of people on campus talk about is that some of our best teams don't get the love. Like, if you saw a football team with this type of recognition, like, within the Missouri Valley, or even a basketball team, they would get so much more love. But the swim team, so no one really talks about it. This was one of the most impressive displays in the whole entire Missouri Valley this year. Maybe it'd help our budget, too. Speaking of impressive displays in the Valley, let's talk about baseball. Are we doing baseball? Baseball. Yeah, let's baseball. talk about baseball. Baseball. They went 2-1 and one over the weekend in Lake Charles, Louisiana. Jeremy Ironman hit two home runs and was named Missouri Valley Player of the Week. Five, shit, I don't know how many home runs. Five home runs. Are we, hold awesome. on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Iron, hold on, Iron, wait, Burger, wait. somebody else, five. Hold on. So, are we, Why? are we going to see a lack of power this year for the Bears? Definitely not. Even with faction of Spencer Johnson, right. who hit 24 home runs last year. Right. Jake Berger told me a couple weeks ago that he expects Jeremy Ironman to step into that role. He hit two over the weekend. Missouri Valley Conference Player of the Week. Looks like they're going to be out there hitting home runs again. The only thing that might be different is I don't know how many people are going to pitch to Jake Berger. Right. Because he he seems like he's going to get a home run every time when he goes up. Everybody's just did he hit one this he hit, he hit one this he weekend. He did hit one this weekend. Okay. Oh, Woo! yeah. He absolutely. caught it. <laughs> ah, revolt. Oh, that was an Woo, he caught it. So anyway, let's move on. <laughs> talk about catching things. Don't do it as weird. Um, let's talk about the softball team. Softball bears were on the road. They're at Texas A&M. It's, it's a tough matchup. It's a tough matchup against Texas A&M. 17th in the country. It's a tough one. It is. Unfortunately, they did lose both those games, but they won their other three. They went 3-2 and two in the weekend. 5-5 five and five on the regular season so far. Uh, freshman Aaron Greisbauer came away with the NBC Newcomer of the Year. She looked really good this week, and... This upcoming weekend, they're moving to Kansas City. Got a couple tough games against some schools from St. Louis. They're going to play SEMO. So it's going to be interesting to see if their pitching can hold up. Obviously, they lost a star pitcher from a season ago. So it's just going to be interesting to see what they do this year uh, all around. Sounds like it'll be an interesting year for them. And it was a good attempt. I'll put it on. Put it on. Wichita State comes to town Saturday, 11 o'clock. ESPN game. What's the deal? What's what do you what are you expecting? Not expecting the best of things. It's Wichita State. You think all twelve fans might show up for the game against Wichita State can, on Saturday? Can Missouri State beat Wichita State on Saturday? No. You're you're first. You're Prove first. me wrong, Bears. That's it for this week's show. Come back next week. Alec and Wyatt Weekly. We got a second week. We're sure to get a third. Until next time, oh, I'm Wyatt Wheeler. Deers suck. Be a good friend to your good dear friend. <laughs>